Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new section of the course. In this section, we will start our journey of learning about Elastic Stack, starting at the core of Elastic Stack, Elastic Search. Before we start writing our first queries to interact with Elastic Search, we should familiarize ourselves with a very important tool, Kibana Console. This is important because Elastic Search has a very rich REST API, allowing you to do all possible operations with Elastic Search. Kibana Console has an editor which is very capable and aware of the REST API. It allows for auto-completion and for the formatting of queries as you write them. In section 1, Introducing Elastic Stack, we successfully installed Kibana and launched the UI at localhost 5601. As previously said, Kibana is the window into Elastic Stack. It not only provides insight into the data through visualizations, but it also has developer tools like the console that you can see here. After launching Kibana, you need to click on the DevTools link from the left hand side navigation pane. The console is divided into two parts the editor pane and the results pane. You can type the REST API command and press the green triangle like icon, which sends the query to the Elasticsearch instance or cluster. Here we have simply sent the query get. This is equivalent to the curl command that we sent to Elasticsearch for testing the setup, HTTP localhost 9200. As you can see, the length of the command sent via the console is already more concise than the curl command. You don't need to type HTTP followed by the host and port of the Elasticsearch node. Let's send this query. You can see the corresponding response here. Also, as you start typing in the console editor, you will get an auto suggestion drop down, as displayed here. So, now that we have the right tool to generate and send queries to Elasticsearch, let's continue learning the core concepts.